What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little different, not bearded dragon related because I have a new friend. I ordered a ghost mantis from Manted Kingdom. Uh, while in quarantine, my best friend Mariah and I, uh, Mariah lives in Arizona, I live in Colorado so we're pretty far apart and we wanted something that would help us stay busy, something that we could learn together and just uh, a project that we could work on together and experience together. So we both got ghost mantises, mantids, mantises, and um, I'm gonna open them up right now. So let's get into it. Okay, let's do this. I'm so excited to have this little mantid friend. Mariah got hers a couple days ago, so I've been getting to watch them grow a little bit and it's been a really cool experience. I'm so glad my little friend is here, oh my god. So originally I waited for shipping because I wanted it to be warm. Um, it's, it has The temperature dropped a little bit in Colorado, so I didn't want to ship a mantis while I knew it was going to be really cold here, but Mantid Kingdom does a really good job at packing the mantids, which is really nice. Um, I didn't know that. so. He's in like a thermal bag, if you can see that. This is really cool. I don't even know if Mariah's was in this, but um, he's in like a little thermal bag with a heat pack, a 72 hour heat pack, which we love. Um, ew, it smells gross. Oh my God, there's literally two containers. So, Mariah ordered two and she got three. All three of them molted while shipping or they were shipped with their molts. So it looked like she got six and we were kind of freaking out. I was like FaceTiming her. And I literally have two containers with two ghost mantids in them. <laughs> has a molt hi oh my god it's small okay um let's see if this is gonna work oh yeah that works okay there's the one with his little molt but it will focus nope that's okay but he's right there the other one is hanging upside down right here so i don't know let me know is this common when you order mantises online do they just send you an extra because mariah and i seem to have both gotten extras and one of hers did pass away which would kind of make sense if they're like sending you an extra one this one looks like he's moving kind of slow Oh my god, it is so small. It's like so much smaller than like the tip of my finger. Um, well, 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 I only have one enclosure. But these guys can live communally if they have enough space and enough food. Um, I did get a fly culture, so that should be good. Oh my god, hi, he's moving, he's doing a little mantis dance. I'm really glad I got one of their molts in here because um, I bought some resin so I could make some resin art and I really want to cast mantis molts. Um, so this is the enclosure that I put together. It's really simple because I was told that um, baby mantids or nymph mantids don't need a lot of stuff in their enclosure. So I just put a little fake fern in here that I cut to size. Um, it is reaching the top so that they can get up to the top. <clears throat> I have fabric on both sides because I made really big holes in the lid. Um, I made sure that the ventilation is good and that there's no stagnant air or anything like that. So um, the enclosure does dry out fairly quickly but not too quick so that humidity is still up. Um, I just sprayed it down with some RefiSafe treated water. Oh, and this is just, <coughs> excuse me, a stick 
from outside that I boiled, disinfect, it's really small. I have paper towel for substrate right now so that I can better monitor my insects. Um, you can see them a little bit better. So I guess let's put them into their, their both of them into their little home now, yay. I'm so obsessed with them. They're so little and small and look at his moving his little mantis butt. Um, also, I have to apologize. I freshly dyed my hair blue the other day and my nails are blue and it looks like fungus. It's not fungus, I'm sorry. At first, I didn't know how I was gonna tell them apart. I would like to tell them apart. Um, so one of them has molted and the other has not. I don't know if you, oh yeah, the molt's on this side. And the mantis over here. Um, so the one that has molted is a bit bigger than the one who hasn't, so um, I guess that's how I'm going to tell them apart. I'm going to start with the one who has not molted. Um, oh, hello friend. Crawl onto me. Always, oh, I see him looking at me. This is a little scary. I've never handled a mantis before. He is unsure. He or she, we don't know yet, but the smaller one. Maybe I'll just put him on a stick because. Okay, he knew right what to do with that stick. He's looking right at the camera. I know it's kind of hard to see because he's very small. Yes, I got you this home now. No. He keeps wanting to crawl up the stick. Yay, home now. Did it. Let's get mantis number two in the enclosure. I'm gonna put together another jar for one of them to live in. I know they can live communally, but I feel like I should keep them separate if I can. This one does kind of look smaller than the other one, even though the other one didn't molt. I wonder if this is a female. This one looks kind of red. I know they don't really come in red, they come in like brown. But this one kind of looks red. Okay. Yeah, go on there. Yeah. They're both in there exploring now. Let me see if I can get some shots of them through the glass, just cause there's lots of condensation. I'll see um, if I can get any good shots of them, but they're just exploring now. This is so exciting. I'm glad I have two. They're very, very small in this enclosure. This enclosure is definitely big enough for the both of them. But like I said, I might still try and make another one. So my Instagram for updates on these guys. I'll be posting there a lot more often about them. I'll probably make a little highlight on my profile about them. Um, oh no, he fell. Oh, he just fell from like the top top. Are you okay?
Oh, he's drinking. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, please drink. I know you're thirsty. Hey guys, it is the next day. Um, I made a second jar. I actually made both of these enclosures new. I decided not to use the other one because I didn't like the top part, but I think this is a really good size for them. It's a little bit more manageable than like the big jar and they're separated, which um, I would prefer. Ghost Mantis. On the left is Gregor Jesk and this little lady over here is Nadia. And if you watch what we do in the shadows, please leave a comment below and tell me that you understand because there's not a lot of people who watch that show and there's not a lot of people who understand these weird names. so much for watching this process and following along with me and be sure to follow my youtube channel and my instagram for updates on gregor and nadja hope you guys have a great day bye